today we have a special disaster. This one was sent in by none other than Count Christo of Endzeek fame. And this is the result of, well, a challenge. The challenge was that they would try to capture as many European capitals as possible by only using either naval invasions or para drops. And as you can see, things have not gone according to plan. There is not much of a German Reich left and there's a whole bunch of enemies. It's not an Iron Man mode, so okay. Let's see if we can salvage this. Oh boy. All right, let's see how far we are from capitulation. Ooh, that's not good. We got 114 divisions, which is nice. Not a lot of factories left. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, I'm going to invite the Italians to my faction and the Hungarians if they'll if they'll join. Then we redraw all of these orders because, you know, I will not be sticking to the limitations they set for their challenge. Uh, their challenge has failed. The new challenge is survive and make sure we don't Die. That's about the best I can do for you right now. Make sure you don't die. So reorganization. That means we are abandoning Norway. Nothing to be gained there. And we are abandoning Riga. Nothing to be gained there either. I think we'll organize most of the forces under von Klug for a big German uh, front. And then we have a secondary force here under von Rundstedt. Actually, it does, doesn't matter. We'll see who we organize where. These guys will hold this pocket so that's 25 divisions i can pull one off and move them elsewhere these five guys yeah, you're being reassigned the norwegians were pulling out as well towards the mainland all right so after reorganizing that leaves me with some pockets in the south these guys will die not much i could do about that they're they're not getting out pretty solid front for what's left of germany Ooh, i found paratroopers you guys are now infantry congratulations pretty solid front for what used to be germany and then a Polish front. I'm thinking the victory will have to come from the Polish front. So we knock out Poland because look at the strength bars for Poland. I can push these units fairly easily. And when Poland falls, we can have a little fun. Sizable air force. And I'm going to redirect it over Poland so we can bomb Poland. Research. Ah, somebody gave up and stopped researching. Well, obviously artillery and AA. Obviously we need pretty much everything thing and yeah like I said you, I think you guys just gave up and stopped researching artillery and AA I also will need tanks because your plan involved naval invasions and paradrops no attention was given to tanks I would very much like to use some tanks I'll just get another research slot to get tanks because yeah focus tree is a bit of a mess the only valuable things left here are the extra research slots some of the army bonuses maybe some of these bonuses once we unlock some of our territory and navy armament we'll see as long as the Soviets don't get involved, we can still do this, I think. Uh, in terms of other investments, let's look at the army first. Uh, student. No, I don't need power drops now. What I need is an infantry expert. How about I unhire student? Does that give me back? Okay, so that gives me command power back. And then I hire Schorner for infantry expert. And von Fritsch. I don't need von Fritsch. I'm going to unhire von Fritsch. Bye bye. And I'm going to get close air support, I think. More cast damage. Seems more beneficial than the other things. I have a little more political power. Who to replace, though? I'm thinking either a tank designer. I would go for either Henschel or MAN. Probably MAN for the soft attack. Or industrial concern, the refining concern for synthetic resources, since I will need a lot of rubber. This is shaping up to be a long war. I have a whole lot of research to do for tanks, so I'm gonna get Henschel. Also are going to do some anti-democratic and anti-communist raids. Yes, my stability is a little low now, but this will go up because of these things, trust me. And I think that is about all I want to do right now. I'll also get war bonds once we get one more political power tick. Doctrines. So this is pretty much done. Navy, nothing's been invested. And land. Ah! Well, since we don't have any tanks and won't have for a while, Blitzkrieg is going to be useless. But when I commit to mobile infantry, uh, mm, ah, Ah, hmm. So let's look at this first. Okay, so victory or death. Gonna get rid of that. I'll get maneuver warfare. I prefer the extra speed 
it's just nice. Elevated engineering core. Do I really need the elevated engineering core? The entrenchment speed's nice, but we don't even have railway guns, so that's useless. How about instead we... Motorization drive's gonna be good when we finally do design our tanks, but not yet. Let's go with the professional officer core for now. And then we'll also get political loyalty for a little bit of extra stability. That's gonna be it. For the Air Force Command, we're gonna get centralized control for better fighter detection. And then we're going to get industry liaisons for more research speed, since most of the focuses are done. I mean, most of the um, doctrines done anyway. You also don't have an intelligence agency. I'm gonna go and grab the Abwehr. Very, very handy. You, you could have just paratop France if you if you've you if you'd used your spies, but I guess you had other plans or other DLCs that you were using. And we'll just go mobile infantry. It's not my favorite, but I think this is gonna do us more good than the tank stuff that doesn't work for us anyway. Hungary is refused, Italy has accepted, and then I don't know why we are justifying on Estonia. We're not gonna go to war with Estonia just yet. Italy wants to join our faction. That's great. I can call them to arms now, and they will be a massive distraction for Yugoslavia and France. It might lead to their deaths, but I really don't care. Hungary said no, though, so I'm gonna remember that, Horthy. Uh, let's start cutting, cutting, cutting. The Polish have very, very limited resources left. I'm thinking most of their guys probably don't even have guns or manpower anymore. We're gonna exploit that fact. Hammer them, hammer them hard. Even in this very weakened state, Germany is still a power to be reckoned with. I just forgot templates, so we're gonna go with infantry template. 20 with, not terrible, but not my preferred type, so I'm going to remove one infantry battalion brings us to 18 combat with perfectly fine for defensive purposes i would love to add artillery so one artillery but we we can never afford that not until we seriously recover from this so we're going to just remove that for now and i'm also going to take away the cavalry recon once we have the army experience to do so because I really don't need it, and it's a cost that I can... Well, a cost that I would very much like to shift elsewhere. I also need to check out your production. Ooh, move that down here. I don't need transports. I won't need trucks for now. Uh, trains for now. We'll need some trucks. I don't need that much support equipment or artillery or trucks or BF-109s. Let's bring that down to... 10 of these and 10 of these and let's let's leave it at this so 15 factories on mp38s and everything else as it was certainly not ideal but we don't have the luxury of an economy right now <laughs> this will this will just have to do all right small encirclement but it's gonna help. We'll, we'll kill that and move on to killing more of the Poles. More of these guys that die, the better. All right, so that will allow me to kill that pocket. Then it's just a matter of carving up what's left of Poland. They're really weak right now. Uh, look at all the thing. The division count is not that high. Ooh, thank you, Italy. And all of their units have like dipping yellow bars, which means either they've taken a lot of casualties. Does look like they have, yes. And they just don't have the equipment to keep going. Meanwhile, mighty Germany does. We certainly do. We're about to lose Prague. Can't afford to lose Prague. Keep reinforcing the lines. And I'm gonna, of course, do these very cheesy micro last stands. So at least buy some time to keep hold of those areas. This will be our garrison. Just cheapo cavalry and we're also removing the cavalry recon from our basic infantry also adding production of toad anti-air for what good it's gonna do we're tightening the noose around poland more and more with each attack good how is prague holding up mm, barely dockyards let's produce more submarines Actually, no. I want to naval invade the UK at some point, so I'm going to start producing destroyers. Surface fleet is going to do as well. Front is certainly looking a lot better than when we started. We're, we're still not in a great shape, but Poland's crumbling. Poland is going to die, and, well, we're not. And that's Poland dead. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, pause the game, look at the front lines. Disgusting front lines, but nothing we can't handle. This gives us opportunities if we can just aggressively attack here here like really hammer into them i'll just launch some attacks here to try and pin these units hopefully we can do something there I'm gonna set up another front line here with yugoslavia i'll have these units rush down south to set up a defense there oh, sorry that's not yugoslavia <laughs> That's Romania to set up a line with Romania here. So like 14 divisions and then everybody up here. We are going to send you guys up to deal 
with Latvia. So aggressively attack there. We'll try to take the victory point and the supply hubs here. Get there before the air can redeploy. All right, everything's looking a lot better than it was about 10 minutes ago. So 27 minutes into my recording and we're no longer in the immediate risk of dying. This could have gone better, but this could also have gone a lot worse. So I can't really complain. We're moving troops in here already. So we want to take that supply hub here and the supply hub here as soon as units arrive. So I got one hub. I'm going to take the next hub. I'll see if I can micro something for this area. If I can get a little pocket going there. This, I'm not moving this line unless I see excellent opportunities. I just want to stay on the defensive here. As for the Romanian sector, well, can't really complain. This is going a lot better than I would have thought. Actually, Latvia is not going as well as I would have liked. It also seems like everybody left Romania. Well, if you're not going to defend yourselves, I will just kill you. Ooh, Swiss want to give me a bonus. War machine, please. Okay, so that is the extra research slot. What else can I do? Army innovation seems like a good idea. And we're going to work on some tank stuff in case I want to draw this campaign out and also kill the Soviets. That's usually a good idea. First spies also going up. Do I want to put them over the Soviets in preparation or over the UK? Let's start with the UK. More research. Hurrah. What do I do? Better airplanes. Let's get heavy machine guns. I prefer those. Doctrines, land doctrine. No, nothing yet. It's getting spicy, but we are still in the running. Let's get our trade back up. Rubber's going to be an issue. I think we're going to destroy Latvia next. I hope they have some guns for us. And Romania is almost done for the count. All right, there it goes. Yugoslavia. Oh, oh my. I need to exploit that massive attack. If I can just break through even one tile here, we will create such mayhem for the AI. So just all out assault, their entire army is effectively cut off because of this frankly stupid mechanic. That is one section fully encircled. And technically that is an entire new front line. Oh, that's two sections fully encircled. And I can redraw the front line here now. Okay, redeploy those units to the ma new main front line and keep pinning keep pinning keep pinning we can make something of this we can make something of this okay 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 that's for production more guns i need more guns i need more everything the ai is going to be obnoxious and persistent but i can be obnoxious sir and persistenter. Quite a bit of carnage we were able to inflict on the allies here. I just hope my luck holds. Oh, there goes Romania, and I heard a naval invasion. Ooh, potentially dangerous. Potentially dangerous. We're on strike force, we've got mines, convoy raiding is also happening. Well, we'll, we'll respond to that. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens when it happens. First off, let's clean up this. Once Romania is cleaned up, I can move all of these units elsewhere. Wow, I managed to reclaim so much of my territory here. Just need to mop up this big steaming mess. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. Aggressive. It's, it's going to cost me. But I think the AI is in such disarray and such a poor supply situation, with Italy also being very annoying, I can do this. If I can break here, break in there. A lot of French divisions are trapped or were trapped in Romania. And we're just going to push. We're just going to push and see where we can go. All right, that's Romania cleaned up. I'll move troops to crush what's left of Yugoslavia. I've managed to carve through here. So this entire section of the allied line is also encircled. And I'll just make individual offensive orders. So I'm going to hold off on pushing or trying to push through the Maginot. That seems like a bad deal if I, if I try to do that now. So no Maginot pushing for me. But I'm going to push everywhere else. The downside that this whole thing is I won't be able to cap it off with a quick seat line because our fleet is frankly worthless if i'm being honest we'll never have the naval power required to uh, skip and a hop across the sea here maybe if i can start making naval bombers who knows but i doubt it pushing the british and the french back into their holes they're going to die these guys are going to die i can probably take on the belgians next i can push through these french lines easily as well this is over i've won all right let's kill the french now this is a little section of the maginot but it's ultimately inconsequential. I'm pushing through the northern section with ease because most of the 
French army died in Romania and the pocket up north here. Clean up this last vestige of Yugoslavia as well. Let's just kill the French before the Italians get more war participation. Hey, there goes France. Let's establish Vichy France. It's easier, usually. How do we proceed? Obviously, we set up some port guards and then I am going to try and figure out how to easily invade the UK. It is going to be a bit of a challenge, mostly because our our navy is quite terrible. Let's take the Benelux out. Should be easy enough. And then let's work towards the war economy in the Reich's Commissariats. Bada bing, bada boom. Ooh, Soviet trade agreement. Sure. Next stop, Belgium. Sorry, folks. My beloved home, but it has to be done. There goes Belgium and the Luxembourg as well. All right, so that is the continent secured. I wonder if I'll be able to sneak past here. I'm going to see if I can do it. So do I have any naval invaders? Not really. Who's my best general? Von Bock. And we're going to try a naval invasion of the UK with your army. Hopefully the UK is distracted. Our navy is a little on the small side to really get the results we were hoping for. It was a good attempt. I can probably wrest the skies from them, so let's just do that instead. Well, I'll make a couple of units into paratroopers. Hopefully that'll do. Okay, so I can get 13 divisions converted into paratroopers. Not amazing, but it will have to do. All right, does the para drop work? Please tell me it works. It works? Holy cow! How they don't have anything at home. We've taken a port. Okay, we've taken a port. All units, all units respond immediately. We are shipping in. I am shocked and amazed at how well this has gone. Do they not have anyone at home? It feels like they just don't have any divisions here. I'm not gonna argue. I'll take every win I can get. And now uh, we kill the UK because once you land, that's it. They have nothing. Also, all of these paratroopers, let's turn you back into infantry. You've done your jobs. We're gonna storm London. <laughs> German forces have taken London. Look at where we are now and look at where we were at the start of this recording. Oh, I love this. This is the kind of comeback I live for. This is why I play this game. This is why I do these disaster saves. Behold, victory against all odds. The UK has capitulated. Now it's just a matter of taking what we want here. I will be modest and simply take some slices here, some slices there, some slices everywhere. And with that, we ended the disaster. A nice peace deal. We, we have rebuilt that fleet that I was hoping we'd have. So I, I don't think I have to worry about naval stuff anymore. We have a very sizable axis right now. We've wiped out the allies. All that we really have to do is now kill the common turn, which is going to be laughably easy. The German protectorate of Britain and all of its resources are now ours. We have taken a lot of war operations. I've taken most of northern Spain, mostly because if I play this game, I usually form the Reichskommissariats. I, I tend to form all of them, including the Norwegian one, the Belgian one, the Dutch one. And I think if I were to continue playing, I'd find a way to get hungry into my faction. Oh, like that. And I would probably then move on to take out the Soviets, take out Lithuania as well while I'm here. Conquer and just have fun, really. As is traditional, we're going to start spying on the Russians like crazy. Definitely want a couple of collaboration governments. Start a production of my tanks, slow as it may be. Eventually turn this into something very nice. We are pretty dominant when it comes to uh, military power now. Even if our army is small, it can grow very quickly. Let's also get a non-aggression pact with the Japanese. I don't want Japan attacking me next year, so improving relations here is probably a good idea. I get a nice spy on that to apply some pressure. And we can start producing our first couple of armored units. They're not going to be great. Just 30 width, mediums with motorized. No fancy mechanized units. These will have to do. I am, I am not nearly caught up with medium tank production, though. We should have enough stuff ready to crush the Soviets soon enough. Air power is, go is going to win us this. Like Our air power is undeniable. No. Oh, Italy. Ah, there go the Greeks. More ships to add, I guess. Small Greek puppet. Nothing amazing. Better than nothing. The Hellenic state shall serve Germany now. And now all I need to do is focus fully on my final preparations to take out the Soviets. I really don't think it's going to be all that difficult. A bit more infantry being trained up. My tanks are being prepared. I have a shortage of infantry equipment, artillery, and anti-air still, but the industry is pumping at an alarming rate. Alarming for the enemy, that is. And of course, for my armored fury, only the finest people will do. And that is why I have selected the members uh, from a list of all channel members.
members, I will draw a name. So if you want to see your name featured in one of these videos, sign up for the membership. Just click that join button and you too can join the elite forces. Now, I haven't used it for any of the infantry, mostly because it's a giant pain in the ass to rename things manually. I have a mod that usually does it for me, but there's a problem here in that the mod does not load on existing save games. So if I use disaster saves, I have to do it manually. And trust me, doing it for 100 plus infantry divisions is a nightmare. That is why I reserve it for the elite the armor and that is why the spearhead today will be led by these fantastic people with more to come naturally and we're just wrapping up war with ussr so soon soon we will kick down the door and the whole rotten structure will come crashing down all right war with ussr uh, i'm not even gonna get italy or anyone else involved for now let's simply declare war kick down the door and see what happens what else can i do let's just Get ourselves some cores, then I'll improve the national spirit. We'll have a jolly good time. If the Soviets die quickly enough, I might actually even be tempted to uh, try taking on the Americans as well. All right, let's see what happens when I just set everything to go. No, 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 let's not. <laughs> let's not get greedy. Let's clean up that encirclement here. I should have significant amounts of air power up over here. Oh yeah, I should definitely outclass them. Take the port and then mop up. Well, it's not huge, but it's a nice opening salvo <laughs> in this conflict. A little bit of the Soviet army dismembered and and looking at these lines, yeah, I'm not afraid at all. I could probably kill them off with just the infantry, but I want to be fancy. Use the tanks, build up the railways as I go, and prepare. Unitary Canada is also my puppet, which means I have access to the Americans. How about we build us some naval bases in these areas so we can get supply in, and then we attack the Americans. Yes. So these supply networks need to be upgraded and then we can hit them where it hurts as well. And that's the first pocket of this campaign cleaned up. The members will now continue on their rampage. Maybe slice off that bit or slice off this bit. Let's, let's not get too overly ambitious here. I'll see if I can do that with the infantry and the armor. Uh, I'll send the armor south towards Ukraine. Maybe we can push to Kiev to some fancy business down south here. And I'm probably going to be spreading out my air force a little bit more. Make this a little cleaner because, oh my god, this is a disgusting mess. Oh yeah, total dominance in the sky, total dominance on land. This may be a bit overly ambitious using infantry, but it's a sideshow. I'm going to try and punching my tanks south through here. Terrain isn't optimal. I'm, I'm attacking through mud. Historically speaking, not the best time of the year to be fighting here in Russia, but uh, well, Ukraine, sorry, Ukraine, sensitive topic. I know. Sorry. But yeah, we'll we'll make it happen. We'll be Fine. All right, status update. We might not actually be fine because this is really annoying. There, now it can be a non-issue. We've cut off this entire section of the Baltic. Hurrah! Let's just clean that up using the tanks. Hurrah! And we'll see from there. Should be able to keep that door open if I can keep funneling infantry in there. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be fine. I've got total naval dominance here, so they're not going to get resupplied anytime soon. And it's just a matter of pushing them back into the sea. The tanks should be able to handle that. I'm taking some casualties, admittedly. Again, not really trying my hardest, if I'm honest. At least we're getting some nasty casualties in on the Soviets. 100,000 losses against 500,000 losses. Not the world's greatest numbers. I've had better, certainly. But considering the effort I'm putting in, I can't really complain. So that's a good amount of dead soviets already and i think we're in leningrad oh oh we're not in leningrad shocking Ooh, they managed to get troops in there that's gonna be annoying to dislodge oh my god i hate this never underestimate the soviet ability to keep throwing an absurd amount of men at a problem so a small pocket out of revenge it's better than nothing at least we're killing a lot of soviets even if i am squandering not insignificant amounts of troops there not exactly the cleanest campaign but we've circled them uh, in this area let's just clean that up and i think we'll just go for an all-out offensive they've taken a million casualties which isn't all that much for the soviets but I think we we can definitely just terminate the Soviet Union. Not as many as I would have liked, but eh, 
that the numbers do matter. And they're up to 1.7 million. All right. Yeah. And we're in Kiev. Well, that was a lot easier than I had anticipated. While I'm here, might as well do some funky business and all out assault, all out assault. See what happens. Should be a whole lot of green bubbles now. Ah, uh, what can I say? Stupid encirclements is what I live for. I think we're, we're quite behind the Soviet lines now. There, I haven't ran it. I haven't ran into anyone in Crimea. There's there's nobody on this side of that straight. Soviet Union doesn't have a lot of troops in the south left, and I don't think I've even killed that many. But to the north, they are stopping me mostly because the terrain here is awful, like absolutely awful. I've barely pushed out of Minsk. This is all mud and swamps and forests and I'm not really going anywhere so I'm gonna halt northern offensive operations but to the south though to the south I I'd say we've broken them and I'm going to keep breaking them oh look they finally decided to show up well, a little late now. Hey, another Reichs Commissariat. Always like having more friends. And territory I don't have to garrison. That's the that's the main thing here. Oh dear, it ruined the front lines. Also, driving into Stalin <laughs> Stalingrad. Just finish this. This this is they're dead. Yay! Small little pocket, but it's the little things in life that you gotta appreciate, right guys? Let's kill that. That's actually a pretty it's not insignificant amount of units, and I think, judging by how difficult it is for the Soviets to fill these lines, oh yeah. <laughs> I think most of their army's gone by now. How is this looking? Uh, pretty good, so we'll probably have full control of the Caucasus soon. And when we do, that's all the oil I could ever need. And we have a lot more members queued up to join the fight. I, I don't think they'll ever be done in time to help knock out the Soviet Union because they're already well on their way. And that's another collaboration government being handled. So look at this. This is actually a yeah, nice amount of units. And they're gone. Three and a half mil, almost up to three and a half million casualties. And there goes Moscow. Yay. Three and a half million dead Soviets. Numbers still going up. And there we go. Soviet Union has died. Uh, I did call in Romania, so I could give these slices to the Romanians. Do the Romanians deserve this land, though? They can have Bessarabia back, and Ukraine can have the Bukovina. Well, this is disgusting and terrifying. Peak-level Balkans. But yeah, I I'd say the Axis is uh, very much the dominant force on land, at sea, and in the air now. I'm gonna set up against I guess the Americans, and quickly try and knock them out. And we can cont and we can claim this campaign was a win. Alright, let's justifying the Americans get this over with. They might put up a fight, probably not much of one. I'm gonna ship these tanks across though, even if they're green, at least this way they won't get intercepted, hopefully. So that has 24 member divisions, 24 of the world's finest fighting men. All right, justification done. We'll declare war, we'll call all of our friends in. Now let's just go on the offensive, I guess. I really don't think we'll, we'll have a whole lot of trouble here. Nope, doesn't look like a whole lot of trouble at all. Yeah, they outnumber us, but everything we have is better, so. <laughs> I don't think we'll we'll be in a lot of trouble already outside of Boston. Red air though, a little shocking. Yeah, overall, I have the distinct feeling that the Americans are failing in their bid to stop me from killing them. Yep, pretty sure they're not gonna win this. Let's try pushing towards their major victory points, Washington and New York, if I can get there. That would be amazing. All right, so that is everything around New York and Philadelphia cut off from the American main front line. They still got plenty of ports, but I apply my strength right here. I should be able to overrun them. We've taken the coast of New England, and that was a lot of Americans. We have just... Oh, thanks for all the free stuff. Ooh, I must be out of something. Oh, I'm running low on support equipment. Okay, so this has been very expensive, then. I had massive stockpiles. Clearly, the all-out berserk offensive strategy not really playing out. Let's try this a little more tactically. Gonna try and push across there. Cut off all the uh, American divisions trapped there. So if you ever wonder who the real end boss of Hearts of Iron 4 is, it is most definitely the Greater German Reich. Maybe just when I'm in charge, but I, I don't want to toot my own horn too much. Once your tanks break through the front line, it just becomes hilarious. The AI doesn't have anything fast enough to stop you, and you can just drive like mad. And we're just gonna use that to section off 
portions of the American front kill- Oh, well, looks like the Italians finally managed to uh, declare their war. They can have Switzerland, I really don't care. Actually, I'm a little curious to see how well they're gonna do. <laughs> the Italians might just completely screw this up. Uh, to defeat Switzerland, you need to take literally every single tile. It's so stupid and it's all mountains with massive defense bonuses. It's such an annoying task. The speed on these tanks is just plain stupid and I love it. Come on, come on, move, 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 move. Capture that, push in there. And this entire thing is now cut off. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh, these are beautiful to watch. Casualty numbers go up. So what am I at now? Almost 2 million, but yeah, I think the Americans are hurting a lot more. I do hope I don't have to share too much of this uh, glory with the, oh. Well, there we go. Hope I don't have to share too much of the glory with the Japanese. The German Protectorate of America. The German Navy at the height of its power. And with that, we're done. The Axis are the absolute dominant force on this world. There are some unaligned nations. There's still Japan and the United Front. But realistically, it's over. We've won. We've killed everyone who could possibly pose a challenge. I really don't want to continue playing to knock out maybe Switzerland. Because it's not worth it. Or the French. Again, it's not worth it worth it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, the disaster portion was over pretty quickly, so I decided to just go all out and capture everything. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys like this next video too. See ya.